So yeah, let's head inside and try and avoid this guy if we can. Alchemy the hospital. Oh god. Oh, oh god. I did not realise they'd be here. Let's get inside. Oh, god damn it. Well, 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 well. I don't think I was hurt that bad. Yeah, we're well, not too bad. So I did actually play like a... Oh, there's a map there. I played a mod. Uh, was it like a Half-Life 2 mod? Like a short game somebody had made in like first person. It was based on the hospital from this. So this location. Oh. Okay, we can't go around. Should we save? Yeah, let's save while we're here. Has been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, wrong two hours thirty, aren't we? See, so I think that's probably uh, what's his face, maybe Kaufman, is it Kaufman? But yeah, I played. Uh, I'll probably have to finish this anecdote. Have to meet what's his face, aren't I? Yep. Oh dear. Damn, that is good CGI. Hold it. Don't shoot, I'm a human. Stop, don't shoot. Wait, I'm not here to fight. Well, there's no Leon, is he? My name is Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God, another human. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can tell me what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap in the staff room. When I woke up, it was like this. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And it's snowing out this time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? You and I both know creatures like that don't exist. We do? Yeah. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Damn, what a bastard. Sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. It's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. Well, I'd better be going. I can't just sit around here doing nothing. So long. Good luck out there. So, a couple of things to note. Um, I, I think I mentioned, like, in the first video or two, like, the voice acting in this is a bit off. Um, but like listening to the lines there, that was a bit more dialogue than you've had so far. There's not been much. That wasn't so bad. Um, not not brilliant. It does feel a bit stilted. Uh, feel a bit stilted. Uh, but it's not terrible. Like I think they're, they're both good voice actors. Just maybe not directed as well as it could have been. I was actually uh, watching something or listening to something not too long back. Uh, there's actually a, a new audio interview with the guy who played Harry in this. Uh, he was just known as Michael G at the time. So nobody knew who he was for ages. And then uh, a couple of 
you want to call them reporters, investigators, video game journalists, uh, tracked him down. Uh, one of them got an interview with him. Uh, and there's a, a write up interview and also like a an audio file of the interview. And it's quite interesting because he speaks about like his experiences with Silent Hill and how he got involved in it. Which isn't really much to be fair, like he it seems like he, f he fell into it because it was just a job. But it has some interesting anecdotes regarding it. Like maybe one of the reasons why the dialogue seems a bit stilted is because uh, the way they made them read their lines was just like a lying stop, then another lying stop. Like it wasn't in, it wasn't in dialogue format. Like you say your line and then someone else says their line and then you say the next line sort of thing. Is just done as single lines, so without the larger context of dialogue, it didn't. It, it loses some of its context. Is that a noise in the background? Yeah, we got the map, didn't we? Presuming this door through here is all closed. Oh, that was... This door through here is all closed, though. Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to say as well was... Uh, like, I looked up the endings uh, and how to get the different endings. So, there's two things we need to worry about. Um, there's four endings. There's the good ending plus, good ending, bad ending, well it's five endings actually, sorry. Bad ending, bad ending plus, uh, and then the UFO ending. So the UFO ending is special, you need to have played the game at least once to get that. Uh, and then you find an item like a summoning stone or something, like something to signal the aliens. Uh, are, we, are we missing files? Oh. Let me just read this then. Oh, okay, it's nothing. So yeah, like uh, the UFO ending is separate. You need to play the game at least once and then uh, find a special item and then use it a few times around the map. And then you can summon the aliens and get the ending. Uh, the other endings are all depending on two factors or two big factors. Uh, you have to get a scene, uh, depending on whether or not you get a scene with Kaufman uh, in the the motel or the hotel, uh, that affects whether or not you get the good or the bad ending. Can we read that? No. There's nothing in here, is there? I thought I'd miss something, maybe. Uh, and then the other factor is whether or not you save Sybil later on, because she's one of the boss fights. So you can either save Sybil or she can die. You can, you have to fight her, so you can either save her from being possessed, or you can kill her. And to save her from being possessed, you need to grab some items in the hospital. You have to get a special fluid. Might be in one of these rooms, actually. So yeah, if we do those two things. Which aren't too hard to get to, I don't think. Like, you just basically have to be a bit more observant, like, not just rush through the game and, uh, like, just go for the objective. As long as you're looking around the the environments a bit, you'll, you'll uh, stumble upon both of the factors. So it's not too hard to get it done. It's not like the multiple endings in... Uh, Silent Hill 2. Okay, 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 okay. The multiple endings in Silent Hill 2 where you have to like tick specific boxes to get them and some of the boxes are really, or some of the factors are really unclear. Like isn't one like you have to make sure Maria doesn't take any damage or something or you have to stay by her a certain amount throughout the game. I can't remember, it's been a while. Oh, okay, that's that's one part of uh, 
the civil puzzle. Uh, we need to pick up a liquid in one of the offices. See, that wasn't hard, was it? I think it's, it's in this one. Or it might be in one of the... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, there we go. Is there something on the table right now? Hmm, a bizarre liquid. I love that, like, he throws, he collects this up in a random bottle and then just throws it at Sybil. So not only is it liquid, it's glass shards, because the, the glass jar has smashed. And there's no way he's siphoning off the liquid, just the liquid, is there? You know there's glass bits in there as well. Oh damn, that does look nice. Uh, I think we've opened almost all the doors here, haven't we? But we can't go into that. I was about to say the toilets, but we can't get in there, can we? Can we get in here now? Oh, okay. If I remember correctly, which I probably don't, I think we need to go down there. Yeah, we have to activate the power first. Can we see anything out there? No. Where is that? Is that like the back of the hospital? Oh, okay, so that's the door we came through, isn't it? Or the door we pressed up against. This is supposed to be the courtyard with the dogs in. Doesn't actually look much like the courtyard with the dogs in, but I'm going to let that go. Oh dear. So three of them. Okay, yeah, so there's only got one door for us to go into. And it's this one. The hospital gets a lot more complicated once you get to the nightmare version. Like this version's uh, pretty dull. Wait, was that monster noise? Or is that the generator? Oh, okay. So yeah, let's just get in here then. So that'll be the basement floor. Um, and one is just uh, that floor we came in on, isn't it? I'll just double check. Yep. So you go for two then, if it works. But yeah, I love how like uh, the first and the second Silent Hill games just sort of popularise this idea of having corridor, corridors upon corridors of uh, doors that don't open. Like you, you try them, but they're all jammed. It's just so crazy. Like ah, uh, like what? Why? Why is it jammed? Why? Is this one going to open? No? So where are we going? Wait, that wasn't there before, was it? Or was it? Oh dear. 